I'm going to start this off with a warning. Not everyone will understand this. It's perfectly okay if you don't, but please be kind to those of us who struggle. As a young woman growing up in today's world, there is so much pressure to look or act a certain way. You are told to love yourself, but not to express that love or else you're vain. You are told to have standards, but not to be too critical. You are expected to fight silent battles in fear of voicing them because they are not what others want to hear. You are expected to look put together at all times because if you don't, you are lazy, disgusting, depressed, not respectable. You are expected to laugh at every joke and apologize for every unwanted silence because somehow it is always your fault. I know I'm not alone, but I know most of my agreeers will stay quiet. That's okay. Take your time. I know it's hard to leave a cave you've been hidden away in for your whole life. I do encourage you to do this, though. Take the risk you are afraid of taking. Love yourself with no apologies. I know this is a daunting task. I know. I am nowhere near being as strong as I encourage you to be. But here is my idea. I'm thinking we might be able to do this together. I believe in you, and I hope you believe in me. I believe in me, and I hope you believe in you. Small steps are better than no steps at all. Remember that. Today for me marks a day of voyage. I have purchased a ring to celebrate the healthy relationship I have with myself. This isn't a purchase made out of spite at failed relationships or anything like that. It is simply to remind myself to love who I am. I am doing this for me and only me. No one likes to talk about self-hatred, but it is a reality for a lot of us. I got this ring so that I have a visual promise to love myself. When I don't appreciate myself, I can remember that when I bought it, I was in a state where I was happy with myself inside and out. While those moments can be fleeting at times, this ring is a reminder that self-acceptance and a state of happiness is always achievable. For you it might be a tattoo, or a necklace, or writing in a journal every day. For me it was the decision to buy a ring that is beautiful, so that whenever I look down at it, I will encourage myself to love myself as much as I love the pretty ring. Trust me, I know how hard it can be to fight with your mind, and how easy it can be to believe the lies it tells you. Whatever you need to do, do it. Invest in yourself without guilt. Maybe you decide to get a haircut. Maybe you go buy some new candles or redecorate your room. Maybe you have a long dreaded conversation. Whatever you need to do to start your healing process, I want to give you permission to do so. I know you don't need it, but I thought it might help you move along. I believe in you. I am inspired by you already because you're here with me right now. There is no shame in taking time for yourself. Be a good person and give others your time, but remember, you need to give yourself time to be a good person. I know you can do this. I believe you are brave enough to love yourself.